Well, it took me all damn day. Excuse me. But I got the lights all replaced in the garage. And I like them so much. I went ahead and swapped out the lights in the downstairs basement as well. Lots of light. Much better. You, get, you gotta love these uh, T5 bulbs. Very natural light. Um, what can you say? Much better. This is what I call farmer's protocol. Use every tool you got. Using the tractor, high lift jack, remove an outboard motor off the back of the Zodiac. Use what you got. Try not to kill yourself. the shop lights yesterday because my next project is to repair and restore our uh, Zodiac Mark III Futura. This is such a fun boat. Fast as hell. Ski behind it, fish from it, whatever. And long story short, the weather got it. It sat up on the side of the uh, workshop. Used to have it covered the uh, with a shark skin cover. And at some point the shark skin cover failed. And it Got water in it, blah, 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 blah. Weeds grew under it. Something, I think, popped it. Uh, put a, probably put a hole in the bottom. So it's a mess. So I have to uh, pull the engine off uh, probably, I don't know, I'm not going to do anything tomorrow. Probably this weekend. Pull the motor off, uh, pull all the uh, console and infrastructure out of the inside of the boat. Basically just disassemble the damn thing. Take it down to bare bones. Figure out what's uh, broken, what's popped, whatever. Put together a plan, fix the damn thing, and get it back out on a lake. Because it is so hot this time of year, I can think of nothing more refreshing than a uh, cold beer or being out on a lake and buzzing around at about, uh, I don't know, 25, 30 miles an hour. That'd be fun. Good morning, everybody. Today is Wednesday, the 27th of June. First project for the day is I'm actually building a outboard motor trolley to put that motor on as I work on this boat. So I've got the uh, parts all cut and trimmed according to this plan that I found online. So now it's a matter of assembling it and getting that motor off the boat and getting that boat fixed. Huh? Huh? Perfecto! One outboard motor Dolly Charlie, whatever you want to call it. Very happy, very happy. It's getting dark, so I'm, I am uh, not going to pull that motor off the boat today, but it's good to get that piece of it done. Well, there's yet another use of a uh, boom pole. Pulling an outboard motor off a boat. They didn't want to come off the boat. <laughs> Alright, time to get that thing onto a engine stand so I can do some maintenance on it. Couldn't do couldn't do this with one person without something like a boom pole. Whew, mission accomplished, but that's about three hours of my life I wish I could get back. That was the biggest pain in the ass I've experienced in a while, and I've experienced some pains in some butts lately. It took me about three hours to get that motor off the boat. Um, I'll get it off the boat was was relatively easy because I used the uh, boom pole on the back of the tractor. So getting it off the boat wasn't bad. 
but getting it onto the dolly that I built yesterday and then getting the dolly on all, all four wheels, that was a royal pain in the ass. Because this motor, I tell you, I mean, you learn something new every day. I'm going to have to go online and, and write somebody a nasty grin. Because these damn motors, so this is a uh, Nissan 40 horse um, TDI. So it's a, it's a nice motor. It's about a $5,000 engine. Um, but it is incredibly clumsy in terms of its weight and balance. Very top heavy. Flops around uh, on the mounts there, so it's unstable. But more importantly, there's absolutely nothing on this motor designed to help somebody pick it up off a boat or put it onto a boat. Even if I take that hood off the top, you would think there would be two hooks maybe up on top that are built into the chassis of this thing that you could take the top off, ro rope or chain into the two hooks up there, pick the damn thing straight up with a crane or a tractor or whatever. Pick it up, put it on a boat, take it off a boat, whatever. Nothing like that. So I had to use ropes and pulleys and uh, rigging systems and had you know, some didn't, well, many didn't work. That's why it took three hours. Um, it just, oh my God. I mean, I'm, I'm, I've lost about five pounds sweating out here. Um, I spared you guys any video because there was a lot of cursing and I didn't want to have to expose you guys to that kind of language. Good to be done. Again, good use of the tractor, but my Lord, what a pain in the ass. The uh, upside, at least this trolley works really well. It I haven't tested it, Whoop, so I'm being really careful because this motor is so lopsided. I'm afraid that it might uh, topple over, but it rolls around pretty, you know, I put nice five inch wheels on it. Uh, moving it around the garage now and working on it is quite easy. I'll be curious to see because it's a little bit um, back heavy, so I'm gonna put a battery and a gas tank on that little shelf there. And uh, eventually, once I clean this thing up, uh, start it up and run it and see how that see how everything looks but so far so good